Welcome to the AccuPlacer Next Generation Arithmetic Tutoring Series, brought to you by Learn, Color, and Create, creative learning for children, teens, and adults. See the links below for practice workbooks and official study guide materials. Today we will be discussing dividing fractions. The rules for dividing fractions are we're going to convert any integers to fractions by dividing by 1, then we're going to keep the first fraction, change the division sign to a multiplication sign, then you're going to flip the second or bottom fraction, and then you're going to multiply straight across following the rules for multiplying fractions. Let's look at some examples. Our first example is 2 thirds divided by 5 sevenths. You'll notice that division problems can be written horizontally or vertically. Both of them follow the same rules. You just want to make sure that it's the second or bottom fraction that gets flipped when you're changing and that you don't accidentally flip the first fraction. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. We're first going to write down the first fraction of 2 thirds. Then we're going to change our division sign to a multiplication sign. Then we're going to flip our second fraction of 5 sevenths and change that to 7 fifths. Then we're going to follow the rules for multiplying fractions and multiply straight across. Multiplying the numerators together, 2 times 7 to get a new numerator of 14. Multiplying the denominators together, 3 times 5 to get 15 on the bottom. That gives us a final answer of 14 fifteenths. Our next example is the whole number 2 divided by 5 sevenths. Once again, we're first going to convert the integer 2 to a fraction by dividing by 1. Then we're going to follow the same steps as before. We're going to write down the first fraction, 2 over 1, change our division sign to multiplication, flip our second fraction of 5 sevenths, converting that to 7 fifths, then we're going to follow the rules for multiplying fractions, multiplying the numerators 2 times 7 to get a new numerator of 14, multiplying the denominators 1 times 5 to 5 to get a final answer of 14 fifths. 14 over 5, the top number is larger than the bottom, so this is called an improper fraction. On your exam, you're going to need to convert that to a mixed fraction or a decimal for your final answer, and we will cover that conversion in another lecture. Let's look at the next example. 2 thirds divided by the whole number 5. Once again, we're first going to convert our integer 5 to a fraction by dividing by 1. Then we're going to follow the rules as before. Write down the first fraction of 2 thirds, convert your division to multiplication, flip the second fraction of 5 over 1, making that 1 over 5, then following the rules of multiplying fractions, multiplying straight across, we multiply our numerators 2 times 1 to get a new numerator of 2, multiply the denominators 3 times 5 to get a new denominator of 15. That will give us a final answer of 2 fifteenths. So to review, the rules for dividing fractions, we first want to convert any integers to fractions by dividing by 1. Then we're going to keep the first fraction, change the division sign to a multiplication sign, flip the second or bottom fraction, and then the last step is to multiply straight across following the rules for multiplying fractions. Click on the subscribe button below to receive the latest updates uh, from Learn, Color, and Create. We wish you the very best on passing your AccuPlacer exam.